Okay. Um, Next week marks the uh, 12-month anniversary uh, of the disappearance of uh, Leanne Lapham. Uh, Leanne Lep, uh, went missing uh, on the 19th of April 2010 uh, from the Riverside Motel, uh, which is located on the corner of um, Grace and the Fitzgerald Esplanade at uh, Innisfail. Now, at the time Leanne went missing, she left behind a uh, three-week-old baby boy, Bradley Lapham, Bradley's just uh, celebrated his uh, first birthday without his mother. Uh, he's in the care of uh, family. Uh, we're now uh, appealing for further information on Leanne's disappearance. To date, we've um, uh, made nearly 500 separate inquiries into Leanne's disappearance. Uh, and despite those inquiries, uh, we've still haven't been able to establish the reasons why Leanne's gone missing. Uh, we're appealing to any person from the public uh, that may have further information that they haven't provided to police at, to date to come forward. Uh, they can speak to uh, p police at uh, any police station uh, or if they wish to remain anonymous they can call Crime Stoppers. Was she last seen with her son, is that correct, pushing that stroller? No, uh, she was uh, last known to be uh, at the Riverside Motel leaving by herself. And whereabouts have police been searching for? Inquiries have been all over the... Uh, well, today we've made inquiries um, throughout Queensland, uh, New South Wales, uh, Northern Territory and Western Australia. And there was... Um Someone who tipped off saying that they saw her further down south um, sometime last year, was that correct? No, it's not correct. Okay. Have there been any possible potential sightings? Um, no. Uh, this um, investigation um, has had uh, very limited information um, from, from the public. Um, uh, it's uh, been highlighted, I suppose, by the lack of information that we have received from the public. What do um, detectives believe? Have what do they believe has happened to her? Well, we can't really speculate on what's happened to her because we don't know. Do you think that she's been met with foul play? Uh, we've definitely got grave concerns for her safety uh, and her welfare. Uh, now we know that uh, Leanne was a very loving and nurturing mother. She bonded very well with Bradley and uh, there's no reason why she would leave the motel and not come back to Bradley. So that's one of the reasons that we hold very grave concerns for her welfare because she did have a very good relationship with, with Bradley. He was only three weeks old and she had bonded very well with him. And he was found at the motel by himself? No, no, he was at the motel with, uh, with the father with his father. So obviously there'd been nothing in her behaviour beforehand that would lead you to think that she would have run away? No, no. There's no, nothing to indicate that she would uh, not return um, of her own free will. A year on, is it now looking pretty unlikely that she's still alive? Uh, I wouldn't like to speculate on um, you know, if she is alive or dead. I, I think that would be careless to do that. The investigation is obviously still open. How many, like, what sort of resources are are working on it at this late stage? Well, you know, the, the investigation will continue until we find out what's happened to Leanne. Uh, we've uh, got uh, just local detectives um, from Innisfail uh, carrying out inquiries. Uh, we have been assisted also by um, uh, police from um, the Homicide Squad, and, as well as... Uh, other police from uh, the Cairns district. What do you hope will happen by going public with this again? Well, we'd just like to get um, in a position where uh, we feel that uh, most uh, investigations of this nature, there's someone from the public that knows what's happened to Leanne, and we'd ask that person or those persons to come forward with that information. There's someone out there that knows what's happened. Are there any persons of interest in this particular inquiry? 
Look, we've spoken to several persons of interest throughout uh, the last 12 months. Uh, a lot of the information has been received has been helpful, um, but we, we still are appealing to anyone that has information to come forward. No, how matter, no matter how insignificant they think it, it may be, we, we want to hear from them. Is there any indication she may still be in the Innisfail area or that she's left? Is, can you say either way? I can't say. Yeah. A year on, how are, how, are, how are her family feeling? Uh, her family, uh, it's just, you know, been upset right from the start of this investigation and as time goes on, they, to me, they just become more and more anxious um, because, uh, you know, they, they just need answers. They, um, they need to find out just as, you know, just as much as we need to find out what's occurred. Um, you know, I, I think that it's it's uh, a pretty uh, terrible thing uh, to, to think that you've got a uh, a child uh, growing up, and um, basically that child may grow up and may not know what's happened to his mother, uh, and I think that's a it's a pretty hard thing to to, to bear, uh, and I think that that child has the right to know what happen to his mother. And what about the father? Were they still together at the time and how's he feeling? Yes, so they were together at the time. They were both at the motel at the time uh, that Leanne disappeared. And how's he feeling? Uh, he's, uh, he's coping, okay, but he, he, um, he'd like to know what's happened as well. Have police established if, <coughs> excuse me, if Leanne had any Enemies or, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I can't even talk. Anyone who would have had any sort of motive to do anything sinister? Uh, we, we've never identified um, any persons that may have had a, a, a motive to um, to hurt Leanne or, or take her away against her will. And her bank accounts and things like that, there's just been no activity, no sign, no nothing? As part of the investigation, we, we're uh, regularly monitoring her bank accounts um, and or her bank account I should say and it hasn't been touched since uh, the day of since the 18th of April 2010. And what about phone records or anything like that? Phone records are the same. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, no I, I, I just wanted to get uh, get across uh, the um, the child aspect at the, the end of the child is alone, or not, sorry, I shouldn't say alone, but you know, the child deserves to know what's happened to his mother. Thank you. I think that's about it. Thank Thanks very Thank much. much. So, can we just get a couple of um, shots of you? That